Hey there, Tim and Air, the Tool Man, back at you. I today I have the just got the tough built 18 ounce hammer, and this hammer is uh, labeled TBH11RS18. It runs about $20, 19 to $20 at Lowe's. Uh, you can, I believe, buy it on Amazon possibly uh, as of yet but I just got this in and uh, uh, Tough Belt actually sent me this one so I'm gonna I'm gonna mark the uh, um, the video a uh, paid promotion but they're not telling me what to say on this I, I they just sent me some stuff and wanted me to give an honest review so that's what I like to do and this is an 18 ounce hammer now this hammer does it the, the really nice thing I like about this I don't have another hammer that uh, that has a grip like this but if you hold it down here in the bottom I really like the fact that it has this little edge here and it keeps it from slipping out of your hand I've, I've I think I've done that once in my existence where the hammer actually came out of my hand I uh, had some stuff on my hands, and next thing I know, the hammer went flying. But it also has a hole for a lanyard or to hang it if you if you so wish. Um, the nice thing about this hammer is it has a uh, holder, a magnetic holder for the nails. Let me grab a nail. And I actually grabbed several different kinds of nails with different heads on them just to see how they would fit. Uh, that was one thing I was kind of concerned with. But if you see this one here, it's got a pretty pretty good size head on it. And it actually fits in there to where it's barely sticking out there about an eighth of an inch. So that's pretty nice. Um, so I'll try in one of the other nails. And that fits in there real nicely. Pretty much all these nails are different heads on them, so they they all fit in there really nicely. Um, and I'm I'm assuming you have to, you know, use this with bigger nails. So you don't want to put a little little tiny nail in there, you know, or never get it back out of there. I guess with the magnet, but uh, each one of these is, holds in there, doesn't come out. It's really really nice. I'll try to take some footage of. Uh, you know, putting these nails into a piece of wood and see how it how it feels. I really like the uh, the claw on this. A lot of them are curved. I like them a little straighter like this. So that's actually a really nice uh, nice you know addition to it. Uh, it does actually say uh, always wear eye protection right here. Um, and uh, uh, just as a note. Um, the I'm the moderator of the Tough Built uh, Tools Chat Facebook page. So if you haven't checked that out, check out my Facebook page. We have around 3,000 members right now, and uh, the uh, uh, several of the guys on the Facebook page had commented about there was something like they thought pieces or of, of the hammer were coming off when these are uh, go to shipping. Uh, Tough Build actually puts a uh, a layer of um, a protective layer over the metal part of the ham ha uh, hammer, and as you use the hammer, that actually uh, shatters off. And let me get, grab my knife here, and I'll kind of show you what I mean. Let's see if you can see this, but if you uh, I do this, you can actually see that come off. You see that come off. There's actually a um, a, a, co a fine coating. So if you if you buy this hammer, don't be alarmed if stuff comes off. It's supposed to do that. It's actually supposed to shatter off. Um, if you want to, when you get the hammer, you can actually um, you know do it like I'm doing. Take a, a deal, cut it off, and now you got a nice clean surface. But they they put it like a oh, it's almost like a silicone. Uh, glaze finish over it to keep it from 
uh, getting any kind of corrosion during, you know, long shipping times, maybe in a container, shipping container somewhere or something like that. So they thought ahead, which is really, really nice to, you know, keep the hammers looking good. Uh, but there was a few comments on the Facebook page where people uh, were wondering how come the they thought the hammer was coming apart. And uh, and Tufted's going to send me a uh, uh, a video of one of their guys um, explaining that, and I'll try to add that into the videos if I can. But you can also find that video um, on the Facebook page as well. So. Check out my uh, the Tough Built Facebook page. This um, this hammer is really well made. It's it's four, I measured it. It was 14 inches long. Uh, I mentioned the anti corrosion uh, on it, and it also comes with a lifetime warranty. And it's got a large. What I like about it, it's got a large strike face um, for fewer misses. So. Um, I'm going to take some separate footage of uh, pounding this in some hammers, uh, pounding in some nails, and so I set up a so I set up a couple pieces of wood on here, and I'm going to kind of simulate using this. Uh, I took a uh, nail, I'm going to stick it in there, and then kind of see how how this this magnetic holder works. So that's pretty good. Excuse the noise. But these are all different size head nails, and kind of get an idea. I got a, got this wood just clamped down on the tough built table, so you can kind of see. So if you're framing or whatever, um, and then come back and and pull the nails. You just claw to pull the nails. Pretty nice. It's got a nice, the hammer's got a nice feel to it, so I'm already liking it. I I don't use a hammer every day. A lot of what I do is repairs, not necessarily, um, not necessarily new construction. I, I do it on occasion in my job as a maintenance, uh, maintenance tech. So, you know, occasionally we'll have to add a wall or take it out, uh, take out a wall or something like that where I'm, you know able to use a hammer but this has a really nice um really nice feel to it i i like the i like the weight of the hammer being the 18 ounce and uh i think it's it's going to be a definite uh nice addition to my my toolkit and i uh like i said i i don't use a hammer every day but when i do i like a good one and i can actually you know, change out the uh, um, the one that that I've got now with this one, and uh, yeah, that's really really nice. It, it feels good in the hand. It's got, like I said, I really like the the edge over here. Kind of kind of stops your hand from going any further down, which is pretty nice. So um, I really like the feel of it. And if y'all have any questions, comments. Uh, please uh, comment on the video and, and share this video with others. And uh, yeah, it's I, I I'm actually liking this hammer quite a bit. Uh, Tough Belt has got some got some nice um, tools coming out. You can see how thin that is. It's got a nice metal handle with kind of an I beam kind of uh, feel to it in the middle, which is pretty nice. So. Good job, Tough Built. So I really, uh, really like this hammer. Uh, check out the, the Tough, Book, Tough Built Facebook page, and I'll catch you in the next one. Uh, comment. Uh, please share this video. Comment. And if you're getting good value on my channel, I wouldn't mind if you go down there and hit the like and subscribe button and hit the bell icon. You'll get notified when I post a new video. This is Tim and Aaron, Toolman, back at you.